I'm going to shift gears a little bit, if you don't mind. Um, and uh, because I've, I watched in preparation for this, I watched a, an amazing um, interview by the Brand Lab, um, which everyone should go listen to. That TV did an interview to them. It was uh, four tough questions or maybe three tough questions. It was really well done, really quick, five minutes. And you just kind of go, wow, that was, yeah, telling of our, of our times and how much how much hasn't changed and then how much, you know, because you want to see the positive, but in a lot of cases there isn't. So um, we've all been excluded um, by different, for different reasons, but, you know, country of origin, perhaps, um, color of our skin, where we grew up, right? Um, excluded from things. Um, and TD, if you don't mind telling a bit of that story of what you shared in that, um, and also just what um, does it motivate you when people are closed-minded? Um, when you can, and it's obvious, you can see it, you can hear it in their words, or they're as blatant as that, as that story was. Um, do you mind sharing that? Yeah, I mean, obviously, as a minority, and, and I think and, you know, we probably have all experienced these situations when you um, just have blatant, whether you want to call it racism, sexism, um, what, what, whatever the factor that causes people to um, to decide to look at you differently, right? And, and then more importantly, make decisions um, on how they look at you, and whether it's uh, in a job environment, whether it's in a social environment, whatever the case might be. And so I had one of those situations that happened to me um, a while ago. And then it, it has shaped me from the standpoint of just recognizing that's the, the world that we lived in. But um, I think the thing that I took from it, and, and it's a lesson that my, my mother actually taught me when I was a kid, uh, when I had a similar situation happen as a kid, she was like, don't get mad, get meaningful. And you know that, that notion of being meaningful and making meaningful change is, is really what I um, use as motivation. And you know, whether it's trying at work to be the best leader, the best mentor, the best team member I can be, uh, or being the best husband and father at home that I can be, you know, not getting mad at those situations, but, but turning them into meaningful uh, experiences and meaningful change. That's really what I focus on. And then I can go to sleep at night, look at myself in the mirror and say, you know what? Everybody has uh, their own look on life and, for whatever reason they have those opinions, they have those opinions, but I'm going to use it as motivation to, to make meaningful change in people's lives. Got That's it. just the approach that I think.